Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a what I eat in a day video. This is like my most requested video, which I totally get and I would love to do more of them, but the thing is, I'm really boring. I'm a woman of routine, I like things a certain way, so most of the meals that I'm gonna show you today, I might have shown you in the past, um, but you would see a lot if I did a lot of these videos because I am the person who tends to eat the same thing for like months on end and then eventually I'll switch and I'll eat that thing for months on end. But I figured I would do the video. There are some new meals that I have incorporated into my day-to-day -day diet. So I figured I'd break it down, give you guys a glimpse into what my day looks like in terms of food, especially now that I have switched to a vegan diet. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna break it down. Let's jump right into it. All right, so if you've been following this channel for pretty much any amount of time, then you would know that I always, always, always drink Shakeology first thing in the morning. I have been drinking Shakeology Chocolate Vegan every single day since 2012, June 2012, and I always drink it for the most part in the morning because my mornings are the busiest. This is when I drop the kids off at school and I immediately run errands or I go shopping or I do what I need to do or I do work. And so I do Shakeology first thing in the morning right before I drop the kids off at school. I make it before we walk out the door. And this kind of holds me over for you know whatever period of time until I get home and I'm able to eat a proper meal. This also keeps me full for a while and it starts my day full of nutritious goodness. So I kind of feel like it gives me a lot of energy. It just makes sense to have it first thing in the morning. A few hours later, I come home and I eat some kind of breakfast. I don't really stray too much from what I eat for breakfast every single day. It's always some form of oatmeal, some form of quinoa, or the two mixed together. Always some kind of nut, normally almonds. Occasionally, occasionally I will put pecans. Every once in a blue moon, I might get crazy and do like agave syrup. Um, and then I cut up either strawberries or apples. Those are kind of my go-to staple fruits for breakfast and I cook that in water in either coconut milk or almond milk and that's what I eat every single day. It's a good way to start my day with fiber to keep things kind of running smoothly and it also starts my day with a hit of protein so that I have energy and my body is basically functioning the way it needs to function throughout the day to get done what I need to get done. For lunch, I usually keep to a pretty packed meal. I would say that's usually my biggest meal of the day just because I am not a night person. So after lunchtime, I kind of start to go downhill. So I like to eat a big lunch. Our afternoons are also really busy. So I like to eat something that I know is gonna keep me full for a while. Lately, I have been eating salads. I love salad. Uh, but because I have been especially busy, I've been buying salads from a cafe. That's $10 every single day because it's a loaded salad. You can put whatever you want in it. And I just decided, you know, yes, that was convenient, but I was spending way too much money for something I could do at home. So for the past two weeks or so, I've been making my own salad. Usually on a Sunday, I prep for my salads. I cut up all the different vegetables and I put them in a big bowl. I shred some spinach and some kale, put that in a separate bowl. And then when it comes time to actually make my salad, I just throw everything in there. You know, I do spinach and kale and chickpeas and cucumbers and tomatoes, corn, um, sprouts olives, things like that, I pretty much load it up and then I make a homemade vegan ranch which I will actually link below in the description box. I got that from a blog and it has been great and that is what I eat for lunch pretty much every single day. And if it's not that, it's usually some kind of wrap or something with potatoes. Now, usually a few hours after lunch, about two or three hours after lunch, I might snack on some fruit, maybe some grapes or something like that, but I always, always, always have the Skinny Confidential Bombshell Body Guide Detox Drink. And this is basically, you can make it with grapefruit or lemon, um, turmeric, uh, cayenne pepper, I think it is. 
and apple cider vinegar and you can basically just make it to your liking. I put a ton of turmeric just because it's really good for the body and I don't put a whole lot of cayenne pepper just because I feel like the more cayenne pepper you put the harder it is to drink. It just doesn't go down well in my throat um, and I pretty much sip on that for the remainder of the day. I put it in a huge um, a huge mason jar and I carry that around throughout the day, picking up the kids from school, bringing them to their sports, uh, just getting my body ready for dinner, helping to de-bloat and detoxify so that the food that I eat for dinner really absorbs efficiently. For dinner, it's I can't really say what I plan for dinner because it's kind of just whatever is happening that night. <laughs> My family, we do all eat very differently. I have a son who has some kind of sensory issues, so there's certain things that he won't eat. My husband is a huge, huge meat eater, so he loves meat, and I always have to cook that separate for him. And then, of course, I follow a vegan diet, so I have to cook my own meal for me. But this past week, I've actually been cooking recipes from the Thug Kitchen Cookbook, which I showed you guys, I believe, in the last video, my vegan update. And I have been trying meals from that book for my husband, trying to get him to switch to a little bit more of a plant-based diet. I know he's not going to make, make the switch completely, but I want to cut out some meat. So this week, it just so happened to be a lasagna, which I loved. He was not crazy about, but it had so many different things in it. I really enjoyed it. It was really filling, and I ate it for two days after that for leftovers. So something like that, something that's kind of filling and packed full of nutrients before I go to bed and my body has time to rest and recuperate it just recuperate recuperate it just helps my body kind of heal throughout the night especially after hard workouts and whatnot so basically anything to go for dinner I usually cook from a vegan cookbook or find something on Pinterest or if I'm in a real rut I'll just make vegan mac and cheese or some kind of mixture of potatoes red potatoes white potatoes um, sweet potatoes and some kind of vegetable and that's pretty much my day-to-day. -day. Honest to goodness, these are things that I do every single day. The oatmeal and quinoa always, the Shakeology every single day, the detox drink every single day, pretty much a salad every day. So it's pretty boring for maybe some people, but that's how I like to eat. That's what makes me feel good. And then of course I drink tons and tons and tons of water. I cannot get enough of water. Also just to mention it, I start every single day with a cold glass of water. That is a must to kind of kit the body, like to kick it into gear. And when you sleep, your body is getting dehydrated. So that is super important to start your day that way. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope it gives you some ideas for vegan meals or just meals in general and be sure to check out the description box. I will list the books that I cook from, the blogs that I get stuff from. I will list my Pinterest board so you can follow my vegan meals and that's really it. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing more of these videos even if they are just like similar but a little bit different and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We will be doing lots of health and wellness and minimalism and just life stuff here. I have a lot of things in the works and that's it. I guess I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!